sold the mother load of all. $750. The next one is kind of like catches me a little bit off guard. You guys, $8. $8. And he sold it for $520. Are you kidding me? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about the best October Bolo's items that sold mostly on eBay. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is the post that I put in my Facebook group. This is my Facebook group. So it is basically share your best October 2022 bolo item an item is a bolo item is an item to be on the lookout for an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit or sell high is what i like to say so we are going to get started here there are some really fantastic bolos thank you to everybody that shared everyone is welcome to share in this video so if you're not in my facebook group please go join go to the announcements featured section and you'll see a post like this and you can share a bolo right there and I will feature it in a video like this. So the first one comes from eBay store, Amazing Steals and Deals. If you hear me shout out a channel, that means they are a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and they get a special shout out in this video and their stores will be linked down in the description of the video. All right, so what is this? This is a um, vintage antique uh, Leon de Songs drafting set right here. If you guys do not know, drafting tools can definitely be a bolo. So he picked this up at an estate sale for $35 and it sold in two days for full asking price of $300. Here's another one of his. Um, Christopher is a major bolo finder. I actually featured his entire store. This is the video. It looks like this. I will link it down in the description. You definitely want to go check that out. Um, he said, bought it in a state sale. It was black with tarnish, paid $8, sold for full asking within a week. So it looks like he shined it up. You guys, $8, $8. And he sold it for 520. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. I just love it. Um, somebody said, how did you clean it so well? Wow. And he said about two hours of polishing. Wow. And they asked, um, let's see, I don't know if it says, he said he has old bottles of Amway silver polish. So that's what he used to polish it. So, um, all right. The next one is kind of like, catches me a little bit off guard. Uh, purchased for 99 cents at the Goodwill, ended up profiting 10347 sold on eBay. Not bad considering I knew nothing about the shoes prior to making the purchase. Had they been in excellent condition with the box, I could have gotten 350. I would have looked at these shoes and been like, those look pretty ratty and old and I wouldn't have looked twice. Um, so sold them for $99. This is what they look like. They're the Nike Air Max 1-97 Sean Witherspoon toddler. They're toddler shoes. They're baby shoes. Oh my goodness. That makes it even better. Wow. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Wow. It says 9C is the size. Okay. Got this in a flat at a live auction for $2.50. There was a bunch of items in the flat, so I might have 10 to 15 cents in this. Vintage John Deere seems to always sell well. All right, so it is a vintage Barlow John Deere advertising tape measure, American Implement Inc., new old stock, and it looks like it sold for $57 on auction. I purchased a box of antique 1800s era paper Christmas ornaments. I paid 30 for all. I listed three separate auctions and within two hours got a message asking if I'd like to consider selling all three lots for one buy it now. Based on my research, I had estimated that the value was likely going to fall into the neighborhood of $450. 
I asked him how much his offer would be, and he said 350. I asked if he could do 400. He agreed. I ended the auctions. They had no bids and created a private listing for him. He bought and paid for them immediately. Maybe I undersold it. Maybe not. Um, but I call a $400 sale on a $30 purchase a win all day long. Wow, that's incredible. This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, that's great. Paper, antique paper, tinsel, Christmas ornaments, candy, and cones. Wow, that's so great. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. She said, purchase this at a restore thrift store for $13, sold for $150 plus shipping. It weighed 23 pounds. I took a good long wow. I'm sorry, it took a long good well to sell probably because the extreme weight. And um, it is a, oh, I can never say this word. Majolica. M-A-J-O-L-I-C-A. -A. That's what it looks like. And it is a starfish coral shells on a pedestal. Sometimes I think you guys give me these just because you know I can't say them. <laughs> totally kidding. Okay. Um, let's look here. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Quiet Thrifter, who also has an amazing store. She says, bought this vintage wooden hat form display at a thrift store for $3 and sold in under two weeks for $54. This is incredible. Like, this is one of those things you look at and you're like, what is that? Um, that's what it is. It's a it's a hat form for, it's a hat mold. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, won this Bible on a local Facebook auction page for $5 two weeks ago. Did some research and started a seven-day auction for $60. Auction ended Sunday at $139 plus shipping and buyer paid immediately. This one comes from Simply Savvy Deals. This is the Defender Bible limited edition King James version. That's what it looks like. All right. This one comes from Mindful Recycle, who is also a Bolo's Buddies member. She is also a moderator of this group. So shout out to Terry. Thank you for helping moderate and keep the Facebook group under control. It is a huge group. Again, if you have not joined, definitely go over there and join. Read the rules, participate, have a good time, and be nice. Oh my goodness, be nice. Okay, um, she said, don't forget to look at the 60s, 70s Barbie and Ken clothes. Pick these up at a garage sale for a few dollars. This one sold for $94.97. And this one sold for $46.97. So Terry typically, Mindful Recycle, will lot things up in big bundles instead of parting them out. I'm a parted out girl. She's a like, I just want to get rid of it all at once and sell it to another reseller. So make sure you're following her store. I will link it down below. And the other thing that Terry sold was this, um, she said, pick this up at a hoarder estate sale, was an awesome sale, took a couple months to sell, paid 25 and sold it for 600. I'm telling you, if you're not following Mindful Recycle on YouTube, you need to be, she is incredible. She is one of the biggest Bolo finders. This is a Panasonic VHS DVD recorder, digital tuner, never used, $25 into 600. Technically this sold in September, this sold September 30th, listed two days, sold for $120. Um, paid $4.99 at the Goodwill. I did a video when I bought it to show that one, what, to show what one similar went for. I went higher since I was doing free shipping and it sold. This one comes from The Reseller Chick. That is her YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member. And this is a new old stock, new in the box, mint, unfinished Martin fly reel. So it's a fishing reel. And this is what it looks like. And um, the reseller chick, I need you to reach out to me on um, Messenger, please. Um, I need to get some information from you for memberships. Okay. All right. This one comes from Lori. And I love this one. I've just got to say, I love it. So Lori is over on um, the Rebel Reseller Hangout. So the Rebel Reseller is a YouTube channel and it's a fantastic one. I love her channel. This is what it looks like. But she also has a second channel where she does like live listing shows. And she has two gals that um, 
go on with her every, I think it's Wednesday morning. And Lori is one of them. So I've been hearing about this because I go and watch whenever I'm at home working. And uh, Lori found uh, some Boyd's Bears and they're the good ones, the little minis. Wait until you see this. So here's what she wrote. Um, Thanks Bolo Buddies for helping me score big. Paid zero plus my time. I received a phone call from somebody who knows I sell on eBay. Asked if I wanted a lot of collectibles. They just wanted it gone. Curb was next. <gasps> so she saved it from the trash. Sold. $299 Boyd's Bears Mini Rabbit. Looks like this. $194.40 Boyd's Bears Mini Bears Lot of Three. Um, plus shipping and insurance on all these. I had to share these both for October, though one did sell at the end of September. Sorry I missed your September bolo post. Okay, now it gets better. Update. This is my October bolo, she says. Sold the mother load of all. Boyd's Bear Minis. $750. <laughs> I told you guys I did a video on this last year and I'm like, these are trending. These are trending. I am shocked that they are still trending. Um, this is what my video looked like. Um, it's an older one, but it's still holding true. These Boyd's Bear Minis, uh, there's certain ones to look for. So if you can find them, you are going to be in the money. So her cost of goods was zero and she sold it for $750. So Lori, you rock. Congratulations. And um, I know that she uh, found out about the Boyd's Bears. I know she watched my video and I think uh, the Rebel Reseller sold some also. So she learned about them from YouTube. Let's just say that. I purchased a lot of 19 magazines called A Simple Life, 25 cents each. These are primitive, antique, historical magazines. I got these at my local thrift store, apparently highly sought after. I listed them and within three days they have all sold. Um, individually and a lot of 10 totaling altogether total profit after fees of $247 where price for each was 15 to 25 per um, each different issue buyer paid shipping wow that is incredible um, that is one that I would walk right past and you know it's just you just never know that's awesome I picked this up at the Goodwill for only $2.99. Brand new engine for an RC airplane. Had it listed for $125, sold within two days from an offer of $95 plus shipping. Not a bad little profit. This is what it looks like right here. And it just talks about the model and the engine and all of that stuff. So you can look at the picture there. Purchased at the Salvation Army Thrift Store for $4.29. Sold on Etsy for full asking price of $249.99. Vintage Ray Spooner Verez, the musical reverse print pullover. Yeah, Ray Spooner is a brand I've heard of. Um, I know, I think they make button-ups too, like Hawaiian shirts. But um, this is what it looks like right here. $249.99. And if you guys share on this post, Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, Facebook, whichever platform you share, um, sell on, it can be a bolo from any of them, okay? So bring your bolos over. Um, this one, I love it. I had this hippo from when my oldest was born. He is 26 now. I listed on eBay after seeing you and the Rebel reseller talking about picking these up. It sold in one day for asking price of $99.99. It's this vintage TB trading company hippo, terry cloth, pastel, bow, rattle, little, and it says it's scented also. Look how cute it is. I've not seen that one um, specifically, but the terry cloth plush can definitely be a bolo. Purchased these um, for seven at a yard sale, sold for $280 on Poshmark. I've seen them go even higher, but because my buy it now price was so low, I just took this offer. Um, they are, um, oh, what's it called? CNC, uh, is it Chanel? Are they Chanel? I think they're Chanel. That's what they look like. All right, here's another one from Amazing Steals and Deals. He can share as much as he wants because his bolos are like, Anyway, paid $30 at an estate sale, sold 12 hours later for full asking price. It is a high spirits triple drone flute, Spanish cedar key, a never used only displayed. Like where on earth? 
do you get this kind of stuff for $30 at an estate sale? Like my estate sales around here, I don't think I would get it for 30 bucks. I feel like they research. I bought this strawberry shortcake mug at a garage sale for 75 cents and sold it within 15 minutes of posting for $24.99. Had someone from Canada message me and ask if I would add international shipping so they could purchase it. Wow, I was shocked at how quickly it sold. So this is a fast sale and maybe undersold it. If it sold in 15 minutes, you never know. Or it was just the right buyer. Purchased at a garage sale for $10 and took two months to sell. This was one of six total shirts I bought for $10 each. It is a rare vintage, new old stock, NOS. That is the, um, that stands for new old stock. So if you see that in an eBay listing, um, it's also a good thing to put in your title. I feel like uh, it's something I search. Mark Kinzer famed outlaw 2XL double-sided t-shirt, Team Mopar, sold for $89.96. Paid 50 cents Australian for 90s Hanamex 35 millimeter camera originally sold by Boots in the UK. Listed on eBay and sold in under 15 minutes for $129.99 plus post. Okay, so this is an Australian sale. So I don't know the conversion into US dollars, but this is what it looks like. Won this via online auction for $27. Took two months to sell. It is a Ducky 1-2 one wired mechanical keyboard with double shot keycaps. That's what it looks like. It sold for $116.96 and it is new old stock also. Picked up at Father Joe's thrift store, paid $29.99 and it sold for $141 on gray old. Um, so this is a Reebok uh, vintage 1992 Team USA jacket. I don't know why the picture um, is so faded looking. It might be just how the gray, grailed thumbnails look when something has sold. Um, if you guys sell on grailed and you're having good luck with that platform, let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys, that was about 25 bolos, big money bolos or unexpected bolos items that I know that I am definitely going to be on the lookout for. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, tell me how you found the channel. If you've been here a while, tell me how you found the channel. I just want to know. Um, did you see another YouTuber talk about it? Did you join my Facebook group? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Okay, this come from this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. Let's try this again.